From Wish TV, your local news source, this is Breaking News. We begin with breaking news. A nationwide manhunt is underway for a woman accused of killing her son and leaving his body in a suitcase in southern Indiana. We've been following the story for months, and we brought you that news conference live on wishtv.com just this morning. Prosecutors have charged two women in the death of a young boy. Court documents reveal disturbing information about the days before his death. I teammate Richard Essex reports from Washington County. The little boy's name is Cairo Omar Jordan. He was five years old when he was found on a dead-end rural Indiana road. He would have turned six earlier this week. Indiana State Police here in southern Indiana say they still have work to do. The number one thing at this point is we have a suspect that's at large. We have a, a murder warrant for Dewan Anderson. This is Dewan Anderson, the boy's mother. This picture is from her Georgia driver's license. Indiana State Police believe on April 14th of this year, Anderson took her son's body that was stuffed into a suitcase and left him along a rural Washington County road. A mushroom hunter would find the suitcase two days later and call police. During the investigation, police found video of Anderson's car southbound on I-65 crossing the Ohio River. The timestamp on the video is 8.16 p.m., 45 minutes after her son's body was found. Investigators are not saying why Anderson may have killed her son, but in court documents, Anderson posted on her Facebook page eight days before her son was found, rambling messages about exorcism and a book about living with a demonic child. Then the very next day, she posted on Facebook, just got out of jail. Yes, had to do some healing and killing. As a whole, the information that they have uh, makes uh, our department and the prosecutor's office confident uh, in a murder charge, and that's why they're the, that warrant's out there. Again, we have probable cause for that mur murder warrant. When the boy was found, no one had reported him missing. Investigators got a break in the case earlier this summer when an Indiana State Police forensic scientist found at least two sets of fingerprints on a black trash bag that held the boy's body. The fingerprints led cops to Anderson and Don Coleman. A week ago today, Coleman was located in San Francisco and arrested on neglect of a dependent resulting in death and obstruction of justice. The charge of murder is reserved for the boy's mother. Police believe that the two women have been traveling together for several weeks. Something said to police when Coleman was arrested in California led them to Los Angeles on Anderson's trail. She wasn't found. Police say that she could be anywhere at this point. No matter what, where you live, uh, anywhere in the United States, possibly you know, out of the country, we can use help. Uh, locating her. So uh, for Cairo, help us locate her for Cairo so justice can be served for him. The boy's father has been notified, but there was no mention whether the father will relocate his son to another state. In Sellersburg, Richard Essex, Wish TV, IT Mate. Our IT Mate also learned police arrested Anderson twice in just the month before they found her son's body. They most recently had her in custody on March 31st. Police in Louisville arrested Anderson for robbery after they say she tried to walk out of a Von Mars store with clothing. They say she punched a security officer when confronted. Just a few weeks earlier, police in South Carolina arrested Anderson after she led them on a 30-mile chase. Police had tried to pull her over for going 92 miles per hour in a 60-mile-per-hour zone. Police say her five-year-old was in the car at the time. Charges in that case included child endangerment. 